how to record all the other shows or to sort of stop something which we'll try and touch on. Um, then we'll kind of start thinking about life out there. Rules of what we call this is the commentary zone. Um, it's got there no food, no drink, no water out there. No spectators apart from guardians who are now and then out there. Um, you don't actually you can see. We'll go through the rules um, of the commentary zone. From 12 o'clock onwards, um, the guys downstairs will start to, um, start to the teams will start to turn up and we'll start to get some uh, confirmed teams, which we'll put on that sheet over there. Obviously, if you're down to, to uh, commentate on the uh, first game, then uh, you need to start thinking about the, um, the teams uh, for Twisted Cinema and UC City and York. Uh, a really long time. They could well be the two strongest teams actually that first game would be very, very interesting. Uh, if it's there, we did draw it yesterday, the three strongest teams on paper all got drawn in the same group, so uh, it's a shame really that it's, it's all going to be one group now. Uh, anyway, let's get on with a bit of five because uh, we're doing well for time. It's 11 o'clock and on my script here I've got uh, five to start at 10.55. It'll be five minutes behind me. Just notice quite a few. What are you doing? What is that? What are you doing? There is a pencil case up here which has got all sorts of pens and things. So just help yourself. There is um, there is a computer here with the pictures on, the revised ones that we've got copies of. Um, and just, just before we start, I just want to check. Any kind. Um, there's a lot of competition, yeah. so you're going to have to show a certain amount of added design. You're going to have to be proactive in your attempts to get a job in this particular sector. Um, and there's nothing else I understand. Yeah, I, I think I think it's an obvious starting point, and I think probably a lot of um, sports commentators and reporters of my generation will come through that route. Obviously, the younger they are, the more likely it is that they're full of some kind of formal education which has readied themselves for a, for a career in either print or online or broadcast media. Uh, as I say, I went to university in 1975, folks, uh, and I think there were three media courses in the country, that university courses, and I couldn't get on any of them. So I took my dad's advice and did a sensible thing. I took, a, say, an economics degree. Um, but I was always mindful of the media opportunities that, that were at university in those days. I soon became the editor of the university newspaper. There was no radio station or anything. Uh, in the 70s at Nottingham University, I was quickly a member of the, um, what they called the social committee, which brought all the bands and so on. So I, any con contact that I could have with the media, I was in um, uh, the, the, what they called the review, which we took to the Edinburgh Festival every every year, which is like a comedy thing that we wrote ourselves. So anything that I can involve myself, uh, and actually my first contact really with local radio was through the review, radio BBC Radio Nottingham, um, actually uh, broadcast part of our review. So that was my first taste of a radio station. And my first big break was that the commercial radio station of the day, Nottingham Radio Trend was coming on air pretty much the day that I graduated, so I went and made a nuisance of myself in um, in the lead up to them coming on air, and they gave me a team boys job. They actually offered me the job about three, four weeks before I'd start my finals, which wasn't the best motivation, because uh, I already had my dream job, so um, the 2-1 I was going to get quickly became a 2-2, but um, uh, as I say, I was in at the start, really, just getting my hands dirty on any part of, um, of broadcasting, um, writing, Voicing, editing. Uh, and those days, when you look back, it sounds very old fashioned, sort of thing your dad would say to you. But um, those days, um, learning the ropes. I mean, when, if I commentate on a match now, which, which is edited to some kind of highlights program, if there's something that didn't go in, or there was an edit which wasn't very good, in my opinion, I can at least say to the, the young guy who's done it, I did that once, mate, and you can do it better than that. So I got in local radio. 18 months in Nottingham, and then um, got a move to um, to the radio station in Liverpool in 77, Radio City, you know, at a time when Liverpool were the best club side in the world, and Everton were about to challenge them for that, for that position. So I had 10 years there, which was kind of like working for a national radio station, because I was doing Championship or European Cup or even World Club Cup games um, on a weekly basis, and, um, and working and interviewing. Uh, at 
time there was probably a stronger relationship between uh, football and its media back then, or an easier relationship. So they were my formative years at Radio Trent and Radio City.